Tony Balisteros and welcome back to my channel where we discuss small business, marketing, events management, and tourism. And today, excited ako ang share sa inyo yung uh, mga natutunan ko sa panonood ng bakong documentary kung saan ang nag-produce ay isa sa mga tinatagore ang GOAT ng uh, basketball. Walang iba kundi si Lebron James at ang kanyang kaibigang si Maverick. And they produce a documentary na entitled The Playbook, A Coach Rules for Life. And merong limang legendary coaches na uh, in-interview dito sa documentary na to. And of course, ang sarap sana mag-dive deeper sa bawat sinabi ng mga coaches. But ang gusto ko lang sabihin, for this vlog, gusto kong i-share sa inyo yung mga top or number one na nagustuhan ko sa bawat sinabi ng mga coaches na in-interview sa dokumentary nito. So, simulan natin sa unang coach. Walang iba kundi si Doc Rivers, ang famous na coach ng Boston Celtics kung saan ang nag-champion sila sa pamagitan ni Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, at Ray Allen. Ang sinabi ni Doc Rivers na gustong-gusto ko sa dokumentary na kung saan siya in-interview ay Pressure is a privilege. Kung ikaw ay isang small business or professional uh, or entrepreneur, uh, you will appreciate na pressure is a privilege. Kung baga, if you entered into a entrepreneurship, talaga naman maraming uh, challenges, maraming obstacles. And uh, if you will listen to Doc Rivers and you will uh, invite you sa sinabi niyang pressure is a privilege, maiintindihan mo na Ganun talaga ang buhay. If you want to be successful, you have to face the pressure. You have to run towards it. Sabi nga niya, not run away from it in order to become successful. Again, ang gandang uh, uh, lesson yon bilang isang entrepreneur, pressure is a privilege. At lalo ngayong panahon ng pandemia, ang dami natin pressure. Kaya nga, uh, ko ang konsepto natin ay it's a privilege Uh, matapang natin nga harapin ang pagsubok because para sa atin, isa itong pribileyo na mapatunayan ang ating sarili at ang ating kakayahan. Number two na coach na interview ay si Jill Ellis. Famous uh, coach ng soccer or football sa Amerika kung saan tatlong beses naging champion yung uh, women's uh, football team ng Amerika sa World Cup. At ang sabi ni Jill na paborito-paborito ko among sa mga sinabi niya, is the mountain top is small and the air is thin. Ano ibig sabihin nun? That the mountain top is small and the air is thin. Ang ibig sabihin nun, if you become successful or if you become number one, uh, staying on top of the mountain or being number one is not permanent. Kumbaga, uh, it's a rented space and therefore, para may enjoy muli yung mountain top na yun, you have to go down again start practicing, start working hard in order to uh, move up and reach again the mountain top. and again, don't stay uh, with your laurels yung mga glories mo sa past yung mga past successes mo don't uh, uh, stay there but rather keep moving forward don't be comfortable with past successes but always striving to become better yun ang ibig sabihin ng the mountain top is small and the air is thin. Kung baga, being number one is not permanent, lalo na if you become comfortable doon sa current number one state mo. Yun ang mga problema sa mga big businesses, di ba? Or yung mga entrepreneurs na naging successful, akala nila perman permanente na sila doon sa tugatog ng tagumpay na yun. Hindi nila alam na maraming competition na gusto rin tanggalin sila doon sa number one ranking nila, di ba? At lahat tayo ganun eh. We are always trying to uh, be the number one or trying to uh, uh, be better with our competitors. And having said that, therefore, success is just uh, temporary. Kaya naman, dapat, every day, we strive to become better. Not only for ourselves, for our team, but also, let's try to be better, make our company better every day in order to stay competitive and Of course, in order, or in order to stay on top sa very cutthroat competition na nasa paligid natin ngayon, lalong-lalo na sa panahon ngayon na meron tayong pandemya at dumadanas ng recession sa ating bansa at bilang sa ating bansa, kundi sa buong mundo. Number three, ay itong pinakamaborito ko among the coaches na in-interview 
si Jose Mourinho. Si Jose Mourinho ay isang uh, famous or legendary winningest, one of the winningest coaches sa soccer or football. And uh, of course, soccer sa America, football sa football sa Europe, no? Ngayon ko lang siya na-encounter sa documentary, no? Kaya yung impreso ko sa kanya, I was, uh, when, I, when I am watching him being interviewed, tawa ako ng tawa, tapos talaga ang dami kong natutunan sa kanya. Pero yung pinakapaborito kong sinabi ni Jose Mourinho is, if you are prepared for the worst, you are prepared. Ibig sabihin nun, yun din yung konsepto ko sa events management, yung uh, uh, purpose law, no? Anything that can go wrong, can go wrong. Therefore, you have to be prepared. Actually, hindi naman siya negative thinking eh. It's positive thinking. Kasi, uh, positively, you are anticipating what can go wrong and you're doing a lot of necessary measures in order to prevent that particular uh, movement na mangyari. Kaya nga, again, di ba? If you are prepared for the worst, you are prepared. Yun yung isa sa, o pinakapaborito kong sinabi ni Jose Mourinho, sa kanyang interview dito sa documentary to. And number four is si Patrick Moratoglu. Siya yung coach ni Serena Williams. And marami rin siyang uh, other tennis players na uh, kinocoach no? sa kanyang tennis academy. And ang sabi niya, emotions are the worst advisor. So, kinuwento niya ito dahil sa kanyang kanasan bilang nung hindi pa siya mature na coach or sa tingin niya, hindi pa siya mahusay na coach, meron siyang uh, kinu-coach na isa sa mga top uh, tennis players sa uh, male division na si Bagdadis. And again, uh, because hindi pa nga siya mature, he reacted uh, in the wrong way and he lost Bagdadis sa kanya academy. And from that uh, moment on, na-realize niya na if you're a coach, uh, dapat you will not break the relationship with your uh, uh, students or your players and you should not be emotional. Parang sa company na realize ko, if you are talking to your staff, uh, you cannot be too emotional, lalo na if you are correcting them. Dapat you have to be objective and you're always trying or striving to help them improve, make them be productive or make them a better version of themselves therefore it's not emotion but intelligence and empathy doon sa mga staff or other people na you wanted to help again kaya nga mahirap maging coach you know because you are on the very thin line you're treading the thin line kung saan you'll, you'll be objective and baka mamaya uh, pag hindi mo na kontrol yung sarili, sarili mo magiging emotional ka and that will uh, spell uh a great disaster sa iyong coaching career and as an entrepreneur tayo uh, coach kumbaga lalo na sa mga small businesses wala tayong HR or meron lang tayong HR staff na, or you know, HR officer natin and tayo mismo directly uh, kumokonek sa ating mga uh, staff and kaya nga magandang gabay itong sinabi ni Patrick Moratoglu na emotions are the worst, worst advisor and sa akin sa marketing sa mga toko sinasabi ko rin na uh, if you enter into a business, dapat it's not more emotion, less intelligence. Dapat uh, always more intelligence, less emotion. Yun dapat maging gabay natin in order to make better decisions in our daily encounter, in our business. And last but not the least, uh, na coach sa na interview dito sa documentary ito ay uh, legendary coach sa women's basketball ng USA. Si Don Staley na former player din, no? star player din. Uh, gusto gusto ko yung sinabi niya. Among sa sinabi niya yung what is delayed is not denied. No? Ulitin ko, uh, what is delayed is not denied. Napaka-powerful ng concept na yun. Ibig sabihin, yung inaasam-asam mo na bagay na maabot, uh, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi mo siya nakuha on this particular moment ay hindi mo na siya makukuha. It's just, it's just delayed. No? But it's not denied. Makukuha mo pa rin siya. Basta you uh, work hard, have the patience, persevere, be determined. Sabi nga ni uh, Dr. Angela Duckworth, no? enthusiasm is uh, common, but endurance is rare. Therefore, having said that, kailangan bilang entrepreneur, bilang isang professional na umaasam na maging successful sa kanyang uh, 
uh, piniling uh, industriya o profesyon, dapat talaga palagi natin iisip na what is delayed is not denied. Makukuha rin natin yung gusto natin. Huwag lang tayong bibitiw. Always be hopeful na makukuha natin yun. Lalo-lalo ngayong panahon ng pandemya, marami tayong mga bagay na deny sa atin dahil nga sa problema ang naganap na wala naman tayong playbook on how to solve this pandemic, di ba? Uh, wala, hindi nakapaganda yung mundo. Therefore, maraming mga bagay na hindi magagandang nangyari sa maraming tao sa buong mundo at sa Pilipinas. Pero kung tama ang mindset natin, tingin ko makaka-recover tayo ron. At bilang small business, kung tama ang mindset natin, makaka-recover tayo. At mapapalago uli natin o maibabangon natin uli ang ating mga negosyo. Therefore, always remember sa sinabi ni Don Staley, what is delayed is not denied. So yun yung five na mga bagay na nagustuhan ko in each uh, different coaches. Marami silang mga aral na pinanggit dito sa dokumentaryo to. Maramang sa next vlog ko, I will uh, you know share each coaches uh, learning. Hindi lang doon sa uh, na, na hapong pinapanood ko yun, na talagang uh, na-inspire ako at uh, kailangan ko i-share ito sa inyo para naman na uh, kung ayaw nyo na panoorin yung uh, dokumentaryo yun. Hindi makinig na lang kayo sa vlog ko pero I highly recommend na itong uh, ginawa ni Lebron James. Highly commendable. Bagamat ako isang uh, uh, Miami Heat fan at maglalaban ngayon si Lebron ang kanyang Lakers sa Miami. I admire Lebron not only as a basketball player but as a person with principle and this uh, documentary that he produced is very commendable. So congrats Lebron but again it's all about the Miami Heat and I hope that uh, dating ang galing doon alam mo na ang Miami Heat we work hard uh, we have that culture and that culture I hope is enough to uh, anyway uh, hindi naman beat the Lakers just give us a chance to win again that championship again I highly recommend you watch the playbook A Coach Rules for Life and I'll see you again in our next vlog in my next vlog if you want uh, to be updated, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell button para you'll be updated on my next week vlog. Or malay nyo, this week, kumuha uli ako ng vlog para sa dokumentarong ito na The Playbook, A Coach Rules for Life. Maraming salamat and I'll see you soon!